This is Princess Cooch05, and you are now watching Libro Incredible. He has amazing videos, so don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. What's up, guys? Coming to you with a video. Um, I am playing with Libro Santiago, a, a famous So YouTuber. LeBron James is a public shooter. Um, I'm playing with a YouTuber. He is doing, um, which one will let you guys know for a update? So, if you don't believe me, look. I actually, as you know. We go Santiago. Alright, peace out. And then you're about to play Bible. Well, okay, is Libro incredible? Mr. Triple Threat Sidestep Swizzag. You already know that. Anyways, before I go into this commentary, man, big shout out to Nasir Dawson. Uh, I came upon this video. I was just looking on YouTube because I was trying to figure out why my channel wasn't popping up. But my videos was coming up, but my channel wasn't popping up. And this, I found this video. I said, oh, my God. That's pretty cool. Big shout out to him, man. I feel like I don't feel like I made it, but I feel good at the saying something like that. You know what I mean? People want to play with me. And, you know, I show love to my subscribers and all y'all want to play with me. Uh, a lot of people starting to follow me on Twitter now, hitting me up, asking me when the next my team game, cause they liking uh, Carlos the Cobra. Yo, man, it feels so good for real, for real. Um, I had to get this video out to y'all like right now because a lot of people was wanted this, and um, I just recently posted another my team video and some pack openings. So I say, yo, I gotta lace them with the gameplay. Um. I know y'all set y'all um gave me some signature skills to use and stuff like that. Listen, I'm I'ma do it, I'ma use it. Uh I, I just gotta knock out all these videos that I already had recorded and um saved up for you guys because um I when my mic broke, like I said before, it had broke like two weeks ago. And when it broke, I just wasn't gonna stop playing the game and stop getting gameplays. I wanted to at least have, you know, the gameplay side of things out of the way and I can just put the audio to it later or whatever and that's what i've been doing this game is um basically it versus the warriors um they traded andre iguodala for nate robinson and somebody else i thought that was weird but i i don't know what the chicago bulls are trying to do man after they made the trade to us for eric gordon for noah you know what i'm saying i know that they needed a shooting guard so they got a gordon now they got eric gordon um Oh, no, they got they got Derrick Rose, Eric Gordon, Iguodala, I think Luol Deng at the power forward, and Carlos Boozer at the center. I'm like, what are they trying to do? Because I um I, I actually faced them earlier in the season, and that's how I know that they, um they had Iguodala, and now I see Nate Robinson on the Warriors. Man, Nate Robinson was balling this game. I must say, too bad Joe Kim Noah was injured, and I'm at the small forward position having to stick Harrison Barnes. I mean. And this game on Hall of Fame is really not, it's really not, it doesn't matter who the person is, yo, you have to guard them because Harrison Barnes isn't the greatest small forward in the world. So, you know, I'm playing lazy defense on him and he's actually shooting a ball and actually getting, you know, rebounds and putbacks and it's crazy. So I had to worry about him, you know what I mean? Because he can shoot the three too and he was rebounding and I'm like, oh man, and Steph Curry was just, just going off on Austin Rivers this game, man. And so was Clay. Clay went, uh, I don't know how I lost the ball right there, but Clay was going off too, man. Well, not as much as Curry was. But yeah, this has been a, this was just a good game. Look, 25 to 21 in the first quarter. Like, man, I usually don't like to let this, um, computer score in the 20s. I try to keep them below that. Good defense, Ryan Anderson. Um, Another thing is, this is I'm playing on simulation sliders. I, this is my second game playing on simulation sliders. The first game was against the Trailblazers, um, and yeah, we smoked we smoked the Trailblazers like big time. Like I know that's when I noticed the difference between simulation and default sliders because when I used to play the Trailblazers on, on default sliders, Lamarcus Aldridge would hit everything. He would hit every jump shot like it was just crazy, and now. He hasn't been hitting every. He didn't hit every jump shot in that game, and um, I, I see it. Like I see the difference. Like you know, a lot of misses, a lot of shots don't fall for a computer. Um, vice versa. 
a lot of uh threes a lot of threes don't fall um you get more fouls and simulation so i kind of like that because my mom player my small forward man i barely got to the line with him yo and that it just irked me because i think i i got fouled on a lot of plays like right there that could have been a foul but to me that was a bad shot i got a good shot selection on it but i i, I think that was a bad shot but nice defense right there damn man like could almost had it and base more like cut it out now we show it is we is down by a lot right here, yo. And I fade. Let me get that. Oh, I faded too hard. After this, I had to change up my pull up and a couple other shots. So when my creation video come out, I just didn't want to put it out just yet because I wanted everything to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? But we're going into halftime trailing. So, yeah. Now presented by Sprint. Welcome everyone. Let's see if we can spice up your Tuesday night with a little halftime report. The Warriors are on a tear right now. Their offense has been prolific, moving the ball, getting tons of shots, different looks, options everywhere, around the rim, downtown, mid-range. How do you want it? The first half performance of Harrison Barnes, just terrific. He's got 13 points and also has grabbed five boards. And for the Hornets, going all out. A nice winning streak under their belts, but this game has been a different story. A solid performance by the Cobra. He's got 15 points. He's been dynamic on both ends of the court, finding teammates, playing tough D on the other end. That'll wrap things up for me here in the studio. Thanks so much. I'm Damon Bruce. Now let's get back out to Kevin Harlan for the second half of play. Welcome back to beautiful San Francisco. So we're in the second half. Look at Nate Robinson on the screen. Austin Rivers bit on it. He threw it right back to Curry. You know he going to know that. Like, my guards was playing so bad in this game, which, like, I was – I had to get that good and, and one. You know I'm going to hit that free throw. But um, I was tight because the coach, the way the lineup he had, he had Davis at the center, Beasley at the four, me at the three, Austin Rivers at the – the two which all right cool if you're gonna put me at the two at least put bellinelli at the if you're gonna put me at the three at least put bellinelli at the two that way um spin move in the dunk yeah that way austin rivers can be the backup point guard by austin rivers by austin rivers starting we don't have a backup point guard but me personally what i would have did was i would have put anthony davis at the center ryan anderson at the forward spot because we had we got back another backup forward and we got three backup centers so and jason smith can play the backup power forward or whatever so i would have put davis anderson bees left beasley where he was at left me at the two guard and drew holiday you know what i'm saying so that way i can i could have been on nate robinson the whole game you know what i mean but nate robinson scoring his little few points i get uh harrison barnes to turn the ball over there we down by 12 man it ain't it ain't looking too good man this ain't looking good at all. I'm like, give me the, I'm demanding the ball, but I'm like, I still got to get people in, involved or whatever, because I only had a few assists. I'm like, hold up, man. It, this ain't this ain't going right, you know what I'm saying? Beasley right there. Another assist. We down by eight now. Yo, let me tell you what happened, man. I cut the lead, right? I cut the lead down. Look, I get him to force that. I forced him to take that bad shot right there. Then I get the lead cut down. And didn't these motherfuckers take me out the game, man? Oh, man, right here. I followed them. They took me out the game. When I get back in the game, look at that shit. We're down by almost 20. Soon I get back in the game, I get my team involved with uh, Davis right there. And Beasley, stupid ass, fumbles the ball in the corner, man. I hate that shit. Like, you ever pass your teammate the ball and they start trying to do too much? Like, yo, I pass you the ball wide open in the corner, nigga. Why didn't you shoot the three? I, I had to get that uh dynamic goal right there. Pop the ooh, had to pop that. Um, I had to get the dynamic goal right there. It said stop Harrison Barnes because he kept making shots. Like he was getting like I'm dancing in the lane. Ooh, and one on Davis. That's right. Davis hype right now. Yeah, man. So I had to like. Man, we down by quite a few. Look at Clay. I thought he was gonna hit that right in my face. Yo, when I get on the, I be. I want to say cherry picking, but I be on a break. They pass the ball so late. That's in. That's in. Now we down by 11. 
We down by 11, man. I got to score more, man, because my team is, they playing crazy right now. Austin Rivers is a good block. Oh, we out. Pass that up. See, look. He don't be, he don't pass the ball. He passed the ball mad late. Like, yo, that, I'm lucky that wasn't an animation right there, man. Good dunk, though. Two hands up right there. Yep. Late in the game, can't be doing them, um, them fancy dunks, because sometimes they like to cheat you. Oh, now I'm trying to go to the hole. I'm like, oh, Beasley, look at that. No look. Mm. See, my team, I like this team because people are actually cutting. Like, I don't have to worry about them cutting. Like, Noah, he staying in the paint. I had to pause the game right there for a second. Um, Davis is in the paint. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like that. I thought I was going to miss that when I pulled up, man. I was actually trying to drive it for a dunk. Like, you ever, you ever try to drive for a dunk and then, oh, look at that, man. Come on, Barnes. Don't do that. Yeah, Barnes was playing like, I don't know. He was playing like Scottie Pippen this game. He was getting steals, rebounds, points. I'm like, oh, my Jesus. Now we down by five. One minute left. I'm like, oh, my God. I got to clutch it, and I turn the ball over. Know why? Because I'm so fucking used to Anthony Davis being triangle, and when I tried to give it to Ant Davis right there in the paint, it, I end up throwing it to Beasley, and, and it got jumped, man. So now we down by seven with 34 seconds to go. I pass the ball up to Beasley. Then uh, Drew Holiday gets fouled. So I'm like, damn, 30 seconds to go. We need three now. So I'm trying. Can I get it? Oh, my God. Fuck. So I fucked up in two clutch moments, man. I just missed the three. And I turned the ball over, man. Damn, yo. 23 seconds to go, and they take me out of the game. And we lose by nine. We lose by nine, man. Ah, oh, fuck that up. I don't know how you guys lost the game tonight with the way your shots were falling. I was surprised the team didn't ride you a little bit more in the second half. Any idea why that didn't happen? Mm, that's not really the style of game I play. I'm not one of those guys who likes to take over on offense and completely dominate, despite what some of you might think. So we tried to get things done just like we normally do. This time it didn't work out. But I think coach knows how to get the most out of this team in the long run. So I'm going to put my trust in him and keep playing hard.